sometimes a scientist comes so close to the truth that it becomes dangerous not only for him, but for the system itself. The world is not a chaotic collection of objects and events, but a coherent structure assembled according to the laws of symmetry and rhythm. Every particle, every movement is part of a single pattern, where nothing happens by chance. Form and order are not decorations of nature, but it's fundamental language. Understanding this changes the way you see everything. The illusion of separateness disappears, and you begin to feel yourself as an element of a unified design. Instead of chaos, you see interconnections, and you can not only observe them, but influence the pattern, strengthen the necessary lines, redirect the flows, enter into resonance with the cycle where the power lies at this moment. This logic already underlies architecture, medicine, engineering, and the functioning of the brain. By copying the geometry and rhythms that nature has been using for billions of years, one can build systems without unnecessary losses of energy and information. The brain forms the same kinds of structures in the process of thought and perception, and they can be guided through attention, movement, sound, visualization. The main task is not simply to exist within the structure, but to learn how to interact with it. Then you cease to be a figure moved by someone else's design and become a player who sees the entire pattern and reshapes it yourself. In 2007, the physicist Garrett Lisi proposed a bold theory of everything, built on a complex, multidimensional geometric structure called E8. His model united all fundamental forces and elementary particles through pure mathematics. Beautiful, elegant, and radically different from everything that had come before in physics, yet outside scientific journals. Such breakthroughs are often met not with applause, but with silence or resistance. Theories capable of changing the picture of the world become a threat not only to established dogmas, but also to those who control technology, money, and power. Physicists, biologists, engineers, many disappeared or abandoned their ideas under strange pressure. Inventors of perpetual motion machines, ecological generators, anomalous sources of energy, lost their patents, their laboratories, their lives. The question is, are these coincidences or a pattern? Garrett Lisi proposed a theory the media called the most beautiful idea in physics. At its core lies the mathematical structure E8, an object from higher geometry with mesmerizing symmetry and complexity, almost impossible to imagine. For Lisi, E8 was not an abstract diagram, but a possible blueprint of the universe, in which all fundamental forces and particles from photons to gravitons, occupy their place within a single harmonious pattern. This is not merely a revised standard model, but an attempt to unite quantum mechanics and gravity into one coherent system, not a chaotic assortment of particles and forces, but an elegant mechanism built on the principles of multidimensional symmetry. In his view, everything from the tiniest quarks to gravity itself are different facets of one geometric pattern called E8. Imagine that all of physics is a vast, intricate crystal, only not in three dimensions, but in dozens. Every facet and every vertex of this crystal corresponds to a particle or an interaction, and their motions and interconnections are the laws of nature. In conventional physics, these laws are described by separate equations for each force. Electromagnetism, the weak and strong interactions, gravity. But Lisi showed that all of them can be inscribed into a single figure, where they are not separate systems, but manifestations of the same symmetry. In such an approach, particles and forces are not randomly assembled parts, but logical positions within a unified structure. A shift in position within this pattern means a change of properties while interactions are nothing more than rotations and displacements. Inside the multidimensional space of E8, this idea not only unites quantum mechanics and gravity, two domains of physics that usually do not intersect, but also opens the possibility of predicting particles we have not yet seen. 
The strength of this theory lies in the fact that it is elegant and complete. No cumbersome assumptions, no expensive experiments to justify its existence. Everything rests on pure mathematics and symmetry. And this is also its vulnerability, an explanation too simple and too beautiful threatens a system accustomed to complex and costly models. But if you look at the world through the prism of E8, it becomes clear reality is not a collection of scattered facts, but a single map through which you can move, understanding where you are and what will happen if you take the next step. In essence, it is a model where everything in reality is connected through structure and resonance. And that is exactly what we are speaking of when we discuss inner states, emotions, and abilities. If we translate this into the human plane, then thoughts and emotions in such a picture are not mere random reactions, but patterns within the structure. They are formed and transformed by the same laws of rhythm and symmetry that govern physical systems. If you consciously alter the rhythm or form of these patterns through attention breathing, movement, visualization. You influence the entire system. The unmanifested is like empty cells, positions where mathematics shows no particles yet, but the structure itself reveals that they can exist. In human experience, these are zones of potential, abilities, states, or insights not yet revealed, but already inscribed into the larger map. Abilities in this logic are the capacity to enter into resonance with the right segments of the pattern. It can be trained like a musician tuning an instrument. Thus arise states of heightened concentration, intuition, hypersensitivity. Reactions are the result of the geometry in which your inner system is set. If you change the underlying pattern, your reactions to events, to people, to stress also change. In essence, this is a universal metaphor and a model. The world as an interconnected map through which you can move not only physically, but with consciousness itself, tuning into other rhythms and configurations. Yet such an idea did not fit into the familiar frames of the academy. It did not arise from heavy calculations or decades of experiments, but from pure geometry and that made it suspiciously accessible to understanding. No giant particle accelerators were needed, no billions of dollars in budgets to reveal its beauty. To many within the scientific hierarchy, it looked like a challenge, undermining the established order and the carefully built marketplace of research. Critics said, too beautiful to be true, but between the lines something else could be read. If the theory turned out to be correct, then textbooks would have to be rewritten, priorities reconsidered, and it would have to be acknowledged that the key to understanding the universe lay not in grand experiments, but in symmetry that could be drawn on a sheet of paper. The story of Lisey is only one among many, when ideas were so direct and so powerful that their fate was sealed before they even had a chance. So it was with inventors of perpetual motion machines and alternative sources of energy. Devices capable of running on water, air, or magnetic circuits demonstrated efficiency, but never reached mass production. The formal reasons always sounded the same. Unconfirmed results, lack of funding, operational risks. But beyond the official explanations, there were whispers of something else, that such technologies posed a threat to the multi-trillion energy industry and where global control over resources is at stake. Inconvenient solutions quickly disappear. In science, the same protection of the status quo applies. A theory capable of reshaping our picture of the world and crossing out decades of research automatically meets resistance. It makes no difference whether we speak of an engine powered by water or of multidimensional symmetry. The reaction is the same. The project sinks under criticism. The author remains in isolation, and the idea itself fades into shadow. Today, Lizzie lives on Maui, working on his theory in obscurity, and his story remains a reminder 
in science as in politics, the victory of an idea depends not only on its truth, but also on whom it serves. The world is not a chaotic heap of things, but a precise pattern where every particle and every force occupies its place. This pattern can be described with a single form, and therefore it can be understood. Symmetry and rhythm are not mere metaphors, but the very language in which reality speaks. And whoever sees this language ceases to act blindly. You can enter into resonance with the right processes, amplify them, direct their flow, just as a surfer catches a wave. So a person who understands the structure moves at the moment of maximum strength. You can synchronize the work of consciousness with steady rhythms by enhancing concentration, memory, intuition. You can create technologies and architecture that mirror natural geometry, where energy and information flow without loss. Space, time, matter, energy, consciousness, all of these are parts of a single structure. Influence is possible on every level, through thought, attention, movement, form, by tuning your inner rhythm into harmony with the larger pattern. You transform yourself and the world around you. In this picture, you cease to be a piece. Moved by the rules of someone else's game, you see the whole design and begin to walk across both sides of the board. Lisey's theory ceases to be abstract mathematics and becomes a map where lines, points, and intersections run through us as well. And that means the next fragment of this pattern can be written by you.